hey, good morning. Chase here at Ever Bullish, the Stock Sherpa on YouTube. Thanks for watching. It is Friday. It is the 9th of April. It's also Masters weekend. I know my bracket and my pool is already busted. I hope yours isn't. Uh, that song we were just listening to is called The Electric Feel or Electric Feels by MGM, uh, MGMT. Check it out. Cool song. Haven't heard much from that band, but... Uh, but it's really good, I like it. So let's get to it. We're talking electric fields. We're talking about uh, electric vehicles. If you've followed me at all, if you've bought any of my portfolios, you know that I do believe that uh, there's gonna be a significant opportunity for investing in trading in electric vehicles. Uh, today's video is gonna be specific to the trucks or lifestyle vehicles. Uh, also um, specific to only American made. Um, mostly in the wake of Biden's new energy plan. I might throw in a little bit about some of the uh, plug-in uh, infrastructure and even maybe a little bit about LiDAR now that I'm thinking about it, but it's early in the morning, got my coffee going, got my uh, screen here in the background that I just got completely bashed on on Reddit for, so thank you guys for some feedback. I'm gonna work on getting this to where I can have it behind me and look a little bit more professional. But anyway, let's get to it. Um, so a lot of people know about Ride and know about Lordstown, uh, which is my favorite stock of the year. I know I keep saying that, but uh, you got to scream it from the mountaintops. It is a $30 stock, if not much, much higher. And it's uh, just a matter of time before it blows. End of the video, I'm going to recap that one. Right now, we're going to talk about a little bit of the lesser names. So the first one is called Lions. Uh, Lions Electric Vehicles or Lions Motors, I believe is what it's called. Um, and Lions EV, let's Google that, or y Yahoo that. These are really neat looking. Uh, Lion Electric, it's not Lions, it's Lion. And uh, the website is the Lion Electric if you want to check these things out. I'll turn this down a tiny bit. We'll see what we can do here. All right, cool. All right. So, these guys make buses, actually. This is, these aren't trucks. Um, they are, the, the, the reason I originally bought this stuff is that this, if we can see that, uh, where my cursor is, is the semi-truck. Um, their, their big deal is the Lion M. This is the bus. These are really, really neat. Uh, let me see if I can get it. For whatever reason, I can't seem to get a good connection to get this going. There we are. So they call these, um, in the back, thanks for your patience here. TheLionElectric.com, by the way. The Lion M is the MIDI or the mini bus. So these are really neat. Um, I believe this is a uh, California company. So we know that there's some political leanings and a political trade there. Also, um, when we think about the legalization of marijuana or some more uh, what we typically deem democratic or, uh, or liberal issues, climate change um, and uh, electric vehicle utility is one of those things. So I would expect certain companies to get certain contracts in certain states that will probably turn first. In my mind, this is kind of like investing in me medical marijuana. If it was allowed to be publicly traded before, um, all the uh, infusion of capital and legalization of marijuana in certain states. Think about the same thing here for EV. That's what's going on in my mind. So this is the uh, buses. These are super cool. One of the big things about these is that um, on here, they, they show you the construction, very simple construction, a lot like Lordstown Motors. If you look at their logo, they're an absolute ripoff. That's not gonna continue. They're, they're not gonna be able to use that logo in my opinion, but that doesn't really matter. If you check it out, the skateboard platform is what they call this. The skateboard is kind of the way the chassis uh, interact with the transmission and the axles. So this is a very simple design. And uh, the, the main uh, point on these is that they stress the importance of um, rather than making electric cars so that individuals can use them, obviously, make uh, electric buses and then you, um, their studies show something around like 20, I think for every one of these, you have 28 cars off the road in a municipal city or in a, in a large city. So anyway, Lion Electric, the Lion Electric, um, right now they're trading, they're not actually uh, trading under LEV, which is gonna be the symbol coming up in July. Right now they're a SPAC, and the SPAC, 
which is the funding. Uh, I do have a video coming out on SPACs, but it's the funding mechanism for a lot of these electric vehicle startups. It's the way Lordstown started. It's the way Workforce started. Um, it's the way uh, many others have started. So uh, going on with that, right now it's trading under NGA, which is the Northern Genesis Acquisition Company. Don't get too bogged down in that. Think about that as the, big, the name of the big pot of money that they're going to use to fund this. So... I traded it. I got really, really bullish on here, and I got stopped out on a limit. Thank God, because uh, it's it's been cutting like more than a third of its normal value. So NGA, check that one out. There are warrants available as well for uh, NGA. So warrants are a way to gain leverage on these type of stocks. You may want to do your own research on that one because I don't have the time to explain it. But they typically move about three three times on the upside and three times on the downside when you purchase some, particularly in these companies that haven't come to fruition yet. So I thought that was really cool for any of the EV fans out there. Um, I, I just really love the way these look and I can see, especially being a California company, um, I can totally see these getting passed in cities that are uh, a little bit more environmentally conscious. So yeah, Sacramento, California. So uh, check out that, that's the line electric. The next one, just got a big shout out on Rogan's podcast. And we all know that moves the needle quite a bit. This is Rivian. Rivian's actually making a truck. And their their truck is kind of like the Land Rover Defender or the Land Rover Discovery or um, it's gonna be the Yuppie Mobile for the guy that has like a really expensive mountain bike and only takes it out once or twice a year. I'm hollering at you all those Houston boys that live in the Galleria. Um, these are really cool. I mean, this is kind of like the, this is the sexy version of the, uh, of the electric defender or the, yeah, the electric utility vehicle out there. Um, Rivian is a private company. They are private equity based. They're not funding through, um, through a SPAC or through a traditional investment bank. So you can't invest in this one yet. But again, this isn't only about trading. It's about enthusiasts as well, uh, in the EV space and, um, we all know that at some point these will probably have to go public or at least issue debt, right, to, to get the funding to produce these. Um, I did a lot of research. These haven't come out yet. They're, they're supposed to come out a little bit later uh, in uh, early next year, actually. Um, they have produced some beta vehicles, so you may actually even see one on the road. I find that highly unlikely. They don't have a bunch of partnerships yet. Um, they don't have a lot of it's really cool looking. You can see that in the background there. So they don't have a ton of partnerships uh, as far as PR yet, and that's another that's another place where I think Lordstown has such an edge. Um, not not to mention the points of sale, which is going to be the biggest thing with these. So um, Rivian's very cool. It's got a lot of cameras. It's got a lot of lidar going on. So they're supposed to be self driving. We'll see how that goes. Um, really really neat trucks really neat colors i kind of get the rei vibe you know like a or urban jungle kind of stretching it back out to go into state parks and uh kind of that americana vibe with these things uh oh i was wrong they actually are selling direct to customer but it's pre-orders they cost about 70 grand they go about 300 miles and they have a very similar platform if you look at them this is again called the skateboard is kind of what everybody's calling these rolling platforms because there's so much mechanics you can take out when you don't have to contain an explosion to propel your uh, to, to create propulsion for your vehicle so uh quadra drive independent air suspension hydraulic roll control standard on every radiant from the streets to far off trails kind of get the, what i mean by that rei kind of like that uh, uh patagonia vibe um so anyway i think these are really neat Zero to 60 in three seconds can tow anything under the sun. That's another benefit of electric vehicles. So pretty slick. And uh, their SUV is, is, is pretty awesome too. So, all right, we're gonna pass on that one. So that's Rivian. You can't buy it, you can't trade it yet. Um, again, I, I could see them issuing some debt. Whoever the young investors or the early investors in this are probably already cashed their chips. I'd have to guess from a private equity perspective. And there are a lot of challenges getting this rolling. All right, we're going to move on. So we're done with Rivian. We're done with uh, Lion, the Lion. Now we are on Canoe. And Canoe, the ticker symbol, ticker symbol is Go EV. Another stock that, um, that I've traded over quite a bit. Just 
going to go to Yahoo Finance because I don't have my Fidelity fired up right now. So this is a California company also. There was a lot of talks that they're working with Apple. If you can trade on the news when Apple comes out, these guys typically move in the same direction as a pro tip for you. Um, let's look at the six month on this. So we kind of peaked with the with the majority of all the EVs back in December. This is when ride hit around 30. Um, right up with kind of that Santa Claus rally and then we've had a little bit of a sell off. So it's gone from 22 to 10, uh, to 10 right now. It looks like it's turning, there's a ton of volume on March 30th as well. And that's, I believe that had to have been whenever Biden did his speech, right? So you can see what's going on here. I think this is bottom as well. When your target estimate is 15, um, that sounds about right. These guys don't even have a factory. They don't even have uh, you know, particularly good PR right now. They're really kind of riding the coattails of Apple. This is more of an idea that hasn't come to fruition. And the real thing on these is, if you, if you look at, pardon me one sec. If you look at these, multi-purpose delivery vehicle. Okay, so now we're getting in that Lordstown, that ride space, that workhorse space. And um, this body that they have on here, I don't know if you can see the video in the background or not. This body is supposed to be interchangeable. So theoretically, if I own like, let's just say a cabinet company, I could stack a whole bunch of cabinets to take off this rear piece of it. And, um, and it could be configured without having to go back to a manufacturer, right? So like you could actually have two different bodies on it um that now that was the original idea now they're kind of straying from that but from a manufacturing perspective all they have to do is build the chassis they don't have to change anything and they can either make it the truck like what we're seeing in this video here i guess you'd call that a van not a truck um but this is for just pretty much straight up for um this one that we're looking at here is the mpdv this is for uh the utility of having a moving vehicle or, uh, or, or um, a delivery vehicle all electric it's not about performance on these right this is the pickup which i think is awesome i think it looks really really cool the pre-orders and here we go with the word pre-orders anybody that's following me these pre-orders are coming in q2 right we're in q2 now that really hasn't happened so the forward-looking projection is that people are going to be buying these things and you can even pre-order them now but there's going to be a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of optics and a whole lot of eyes on this. These are made just for the individual as well. Got that cool rack on top. In my opinion, canoe is they've got really cool wheels. Um, canoe the payload is not that much. Eighteen hundred pounds is not that much. Uh, Two hundred mile range either all wheel drive or wheel, rear wheel drive. So now we're not even talking four wheels on the ground at all, or four wheels moving at all time. Now we're talking about just rear wheel. It only seats four. Uh, max torque is uh, uh, 550. Bed length is actually not that much. Um, it is uh, 207 inches. So this is gonna be like that kind of like that smart car niche like yeah it's cool yeah it looks neat yeah you're making a statement by driving it but it's not a, a high performance vehicle of any kind i could see these guys getting bought and i could see the apple thing going through too where they just buy up all their ip they buy up all their not just intellectual property but all of their um if they have any manufacturing tools or warehouse space or anything like that uh, and they have that apple design this looks like a freaking macbook on wheels right like the old macbook that was teal colored that everybody had the one of in their high school that's what this looks like i just aged myself there so anyway all right now's the fun part we're going to go to ride we're going to ride with lordstown we're going to talk about um we're going to talk about the endurance the lordstown endurance my favorite stock of the whole year it's first to market in a space that i love i'm just kind of going off the top of the top of the dome here but uh here's what i love we actually see a factory we actually have a video of the factory working we have a date on the video the fact that this has been published as an erroneous company just blows my freaking mind people will believe anything i was going to say what are you going to tell me the earth is flat but some people believe that too so um 
I'm so bullish on these guys. Here's the most important thing, in my opinion, is that they are first to market, and they're first to market in a space that is being promoted, not only from a legislative risk perspective in the positive, but we have we had this thing on the, the floor of the White House or the lawn of the White House when DJT was in office, and now we have Biden coming on, and we have Biden talking about uh, using the exact words, Voltage Valley, which is, this is made in Lordstown, Ohio, which is just outside of Youngstown, Ohio, which is a blue collar town, kind of a renaissance when it comes to technology, uh, technology advancement. Um, and they're trying to bring back an old GBM plant that had to close whenever they stopped making a certain truck. So. Uh, I mentioned before, these are going to be sold to uh, as fleet vehicles first. So we don't have to have the consumer that's out shopping between Canoe, out there shopping between Rivian. We don't have to deal with, you know, the look so much, even though I think they look awesome. And uh, oh, I, think I was telling somebody about this a while back. And I said, this is the kind of truck that my dad would drive um, or your dad would drive. This is, a, this is kind of like a blue collar-ish workman's truck. And I think that from the from the perspective of it being seen as a gentle slide into going from conservatism and drive, buy American, drive American, 12 miles to the gallon to, hey, this has the utility uh, that can, uh, this thing pulled uh, a Ford F-150, just absolutely ripped it from a torque perspective when they attach bumpers. It's kind of got that like new kid on the block, um, that new kid on the block feel. It's racing in the uh, San Felipe, Baja style race. They have Joe Burrow, who is an Ohio kid. He's the number one draft pick quarterback in the Cincinnati Bengals uh, as their as their spokesperson. They have Steve Burns as their as their CEO. He's the guy that used to head the product development for the Siri functionality at all of Apple. The guy knows how to make a deadline. I don't even think the deadline really matters. I don't know if Tesla's ever hit a deadline. Uh, there was a horrible article written about them by people that were shorting them. I don't want to rip on the Hindenburg too bad, but I kind of do. The Hindenburg is six guys that are that are very well funded, meaning that they're rich dudes, uh, and they are Ivy League guys, and they're in an apartment in New York, and they pay for people who used to work for the company, or even sometimes not, but have inside knowledge of the company, and they actually give them paid. Um, they, they, they pay them for their statement about the company and then they bend the words that they say uh, such that they can uh, dissuade investors from maintaining their positions in a stock like this by saying that it's false and funny. Uh, I think we'll see these very soon. I think we'll see these in very less than a year of driving around. They also have 160 points of sale through Camping World. Um, Marcus Lemonis, the, the, the uh, Shark Tank guy, tweets almost every day about this company and what they're doing here. A lot of pub, a lot of press, and it's legit. And it's really, a 500 employees are gonna have a thousand by the end of the quarter. And uh, the goal is that in September, they'll be able to produce six of these every single, uh, one of these every six minutes. They have a revolutionary design. See how these wheels are? The motor is in the wheel. Uh, one of those Hindenburg articles said, well, what happens if you get a flat tire? Um, well, if you get a flat tire, there's a, uh, a another um, place, there, there's a complete replacement in there. You don't, you don't even have to take the tire, the wheel off of the tire. So um, very, very, very neat. I just love these things. And um, I don't trade with my heart and I'm not trading with my heart. And here's the way I'm proving that. I'm highlighting this here. You're going to have to go to the website to see it. I don't have a way to zoom in right now. This is um, this is an MSRP of $52,000. A brand new Ford F-150 King Ranch Edition that is incredibly underpowered in comparison to this and requires you to fill it up um, and gets pretty, pretty poor gasmos, you know, less than 20. Um, that is roughly $70,000 right now. And this is $52,000. And you get a tax credit on this thing for $7,500. Um, that is after the tax credit. And that's a federal tax credit. A lot of states are doing local tax credits too. So if I own, let's just say like, a, let's say I own a supply company for oil pipelines in Houston. 
They're not going to be real happy with me buying an electric vehicle, but what they will like is that I'm, uh, I'm available to get out there and, uh, and do the same work as the other guys. More so, they're going to be incented that they're going green. And energy companies, oil companies, all of those things always have the, uh, you know, the, uh, well, I'm going to watch my, my words there just because I did just move from Houston and all of my people are uh, oil people and I love it. But there's a there's kind of a, a an oil only uh, thing going on there. And uh, anyway, don't have to deal with that. Let me get back on track. Oh, here it is. F-150 Larry. I didn't even see that while I was talking. I was just kind of going off the top of my head there. Yeah, so $71,000. Fleet vehicles, ride Lordstown, ride with Lordstown. I just love these things. I don't see this being an $11 stock. That's just a complete blasphemy. And I see it as an opportunity. I just rebalance all my professional portfolios into this uh, for a heavier weighting to lower the cost basis. I think it's uh, I think it's gonna be uh, the way of the future. So to avoid any more rambling, electric vehicles, one of the biggest trades of this year, one of the greatest opportunities that we'll see in a very, very, very long time. Uh, an opportunity to be on the forefront of of re-embracing American manufacturing. Ohio is now the Voltage Valley. I would be shocked if the U.S. Postal Service doesn't somehow employ these guys as well, even though I do know that the contract went to another company. Um, I think that they might get rid of the flashiness for some of the fleet vehicles, and then after that, they're going to be issuing more of the uh, the uh, consumer-friendly ones, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll all be pushing one of these soon. I'm in here in Texas, so you have to have a truck. So um, I guess final thoughts on that, you know, camping world uh, is huge. Oh, I think I, don't know, I put it on my last video, but they came out with an RV uh, that, that is really, really cool. That's the second stage here. Um, but the main thing is that if you need any type of maintenance or you want to go buy one in person, the points of sale are already established and they're upskilling all of the uh, salespeople at the uh, at, uh, 160 locations nationwide to go get it worked on in the event that it does need to get worked on, but, but this has four moving parts. It's really incredible. And also it holds more than four people. Also, it's not a bus like a, like canoe. Um, so I, you know, go EV or, or, um, or canoe, very cool. When I throw this up on a stock chart, so that was Lordstown, I always call it ride. That's the symbol, R-I-D-E. Uh, the more you get into stock trading, the more you, you start uh, shortening or just calling the name what the symbol is, like XLM for Exxon, uh, CVX for Chevron, you know, whatever. So uh, let's go here. Yeah, twelve dollars and thirty-two cents. Six months in December, as I mentioned before, just before December. We hit uh, $27, and then in February, we hit 30 and now we're at 12 Okay, uh, Canoe doesn't even make vehicles yet, and it's trading, trading on a little bit higher than that. Um, I get that you can't compare those apples to apples necessarily, but I think that it does show on the space. Number one rule of economics, you gotta be first to market. And you have to be a scarce resource, and they will be scarce because they're the first ones to the market. So again, I love it. Steve Burns, Lordstown, ride, ride with Lordstown. Um, just awesome and uh, I hope everybody enjoyed this I will show also that I got some new drip um, I'm trying to uh, promote my YouTube videos uh, and, and instead of charging clients for all the free information that I'm giving out I'm trying to uh, intermingle the ability to have cool t-shirts for sale instead to support the channel and to support the mission so this is the electric vehicle shirt and it is made to look kind of like a uh, like a Louis Vuitton knockoff. It says EV instead of LV. We got the pattern in the background with Tesla. It does have some promo on the back and that's the reason I put this in the video instead of just directing you to my website because I have had people that bought these and they didn't realize that I was promoing my company ever bullish on the back. So don't buy one if that bothers you, but buy one if you want to support and also rock a cool t-shirt. So when people ask you about it, you can say, yeah, I trade stocks in the EV space. All right, that's enough from me. I uh, hope y'all have a great day. I hope uh, Terrell Hatton wins the Masters because that's the guy of my of my uh, my pool. Um, I hope to see these on the road soon. And I'm Chase at Ever Bullish, the stock shipper on YouTube. Please give any likes or comments. I love a like. I love a subscribe. 
I'd love it if you share any of this information or my past videos, more specific with trading and investing with friends, families, neighbors, strangers, and um, let's all get rich together. Let's do it. So ride with Lordstown.